Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you? I'm I'm a pretty tired, but I'm fine. But it's Friday, so I think it's normal. How about you, Jacqueline? Um I'm fine. Fine. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Con sueño. Sleepy. Um, sleepy. Sleepy. Okay. Okay. Remember. Hello, Christian. Hello, teacher. Okay. Recuerde enviar el comprobante de, de que recibió el manual del estudiante uh, before Monday. Monday is the last day. Okay, Catherine. Y recuerde que hay que imprimirlo. Okay, Christian. Be careful, be careful. Tienen que imprimirlo, firmarlo, escanearlo y enviarlo antes del Monday, antes del lunes. Ok, del, del comprobante del manual. Ok, we're going to continue with section 4. And... We are going to start exercises. The first exercise on the platform in which we are going to use some or any. Okay, do you think was clear yesterday? Yo le puedo estar preguntando más seguido. Okay, how we are going to use some in any? ¿Está claro cuándo lo vamos a utilizar? ¿O quedó dudas? After the exercise of yesterday. A ver, let's make a review. When we are going to use some, in which cases? Hello. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar SOM? Estamos procesando los teacher. Espérenme. Ah, ok. No me asusten. Estamos viendo los apuntes. Ah, <ríe> ok. No, yo no lo tengo claro. ¿Cómo es la diferencia? ¿Cuándo usar cada uno? Ok. Sí, claro. Eh, no sé si entendí mal. Some se, se usa en una oración afirmativa. ¿Es correcto? Yes. Y any, correct. Yes. Y any en una oración negativa. Yes, that's correct. Ah, okay. ok, esa es pero, una... Pero... Eh, siempre va acompañado de there, de la palabra there? Mm, no. Oh, no, no siempre. No siempre. No siempre. Uh -huh. ah, okay. ok, any, además de oraciones negativas, las utilizamos en algo más. ¿En qué será? Pregunta. Yes, in questions. Ah, okay. In questions. In negative sentences and questions. 
Y esto, lo de lo contable y no contable, eh, son en any, ¿para qué? ¿Para cuáles aplica? ¿Para contable o para non-contable? Son aplica para contable. ¿Y any? No sé si estoy mal ahí, teacher. Y any se, se utiliza para los uncountable, o sea, para los no contables. Ok. Well, sum and any, sum, yes, sum and any, we can use it in both cases. Los podemos utilizar los dos para los dos casos, tanto para contables como incontables. Ok, in both cases. Solo que creo, teacher, que también tenemos que tomar en cuenta también cuando son en plural, ¿verdad? Y cuando son este, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Singular. En singular. Excellent, great. Son, solo lo vamos a utilizar con the plural form. ¿Por qué significa más de uno? Okay, no una cantidad específica, pero sí dos o más. Ok, excelente. Ya ven, no andábamos ahí tan mal. So let's do the, the, the exercises. Ok. Um, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make any or some. 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 Because it's a positive thing. Okay. Do we have the answer? Any. Any. Any mayonnaise? Because it's a question. Do we have any mayonnaise? No. We need to buy. Some. Some, yes. We need to buy some. We need any onions too. Mm, are you sure? Yes, some. Some. Some plural onions. Pero más que porque sea plural es porque es positive. We need es una oración positiva. We need some onions. Necesitamos cebollas. Okay, we need some, bueno, algunas cebollas. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any. Any onions. Ok, aquí sí, como tenemos un negative here, don't. I don't want Aquí sí sería any. Any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get yes some some celery. No, I don't want any. Any. Any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some. Some apples in it. Apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. Okay. What is the meaning of Celery. Ah, uh, let's check. Okay, celery. What do you think it is? It's a vegetable. It's green. It's long. And it's ugly. I don't like celery. It's apio. 
Celery is apple. Okay, what about the word awful? Awful. Do you think it's something positive or something negative? Hippo. Positive or negative? Awful. Apples in potato salad? That sounds awful. Positive. It's negative. Awful is como, ¡ay, qué feo! Que como raro. That's awful. Como mal. Como no suena bien. Okay, questions about vocabulary, pronunciation. This is the time to ask. No? Yeah. And they said, no, we need to buy. ¿Qué significa? Eh, buy. Es, es, uh -huh. Buy is when you go shopping, when you go to Super Selectos, to buy the apples and the onions. Y valga el comercial. Compras, como tipo compras. ¿verdad? Buy, comprar, yes. No more questions? No more questions. Question. Okay. Okay, now it's time for practice. You are going to read the conversation. Okay, let us start with Jacqueline and... Se me perdió Wilfredo. Where are you, Wilfredo? And Wilfredo. ¿O quién era? Que Wilfredo no iba manejando, right? Que hey, Wilfredo, can you talk? Que Christian does Hello. Okay. Okay, so Jacqueline, you will be Amanda, and Wilfredo, you will, will be Adam. Jacqueline. Permítame, señor, que, que, que estoy viendo dónde, dónde está la conversación. Ok. Um, eh, the, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have a lot of potatoes. Let's make some. Mm, um okay do we have uh any mayonnaise mayonnaise no no we need to buy some we need some onions too oh um mm. Uh, oh, I don't want. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get, get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in the potato salad. But let's put some... Así es la palabra. What? 
Oh, yes, Adam solo que ahí le toca a Wilfredo. Oh, ok. Uh, but, but, uh, but let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad? That sounds awful. Awful, awful. Ok, thank you. Two more volunteers. Okay, Alexis. And Catherine. Catherine and Alexis. Okay, puede iniciar Catherine, si gusta. Seré yo o la otra Catherine. <laughs> eh, yes, Catherine Alejandra. Okay. Este eh, es de donde dice Amanda. Yes. Dice, the sour doings have any potato salad? Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too? Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some apples in it. Uh, but let's put some apples in it. Ah, oh, perdón, yo tenía que leerlo de corrido. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, Catherine, the last, the last phrase. Apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. Okay. Thank you. Okay, questions? No questions. No. Okay. So let's make an exercise about the vocabulary from the section. And um, Okay, we're going to classify the words into countable or non-countable. But wait a minute. Okay, we are going to classify these words into the two categories, countable and non-countable. Let us start with the grains. Okay, what about the bread? In which category we are going to put? Contable or non contable?
the bread. Uncountable. Okay. You remember yesterday we were practice this. So it has to be easy for you. What about the cereal? Non countable. Okay. Crackers. Countable. Yes. Rice. Uncountable. Noodles. Non countable. Yes. Pasta. Non countable. Correct. Potatoes. Countable. Yes. Lettuce. Esa iría en las non countable. Yes, correct. Porque no la contamos por unidades, ¿verdad? Sino que por lo general se usa solo una parte de la lechuga y no vamos a estar contando cuántas hojitas o sino que decimos, por ejemplo, la sala es uncountable y la mayoría de o sea, por, because it's difficult to 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 count. So yes, here in non countable. Carrots countable. 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 Broccoli. Uncountable. Uncountable. Yes. Tomatoes. Countable. Mangoes. Countable. Countable. Apples. Countables. Strawberries. Countables. Bananas. Countables. Oranges. Countables. Countables. Cheese. Uncountable. Milk. Uncountable. Uncountable. Eggs. Countable. Yogurt. Uncountable. Beef. Uncountable. Chicken. Not countable. Beans. Countable. Yes. Oh. Gramaticalmente hablando, dijimos que countable. Fish. Entero o por pedazos. Este es no countable. Yes, no countable. Solo los vivos dijimos que sí eran countable. Pero este caso es el, ya está rebanado el pobre. Nuts. No countable. Mm, es el mismo caso de los beans. Nuts son las... ¿Cómo se llaman? Las nueces. Yes. Teacher, pero en inglés no hay este, una diferencia de, de pronunciación ni nada. Si es vivo o es muerto el pez, ¿verdad? 
No, it has to be the context. Yes, that's correct. Sí, se pronuncia igual, incluso en la forma plural dijimos que era la misma, pero tiene que ser el contexto. Si es comida, es uncountable. Potato chips. No uncountable. Ok. Oil. No uncountable. Butter. No uncountable. Candies. Countable. Ay, les ayude. Se me fue el plural. And cream. No countable. Countable. Hmm? <laughs> yes. Okay. I think this part is clear. So let's move to this part okay what do you have for breakfast and we're going to listen about three different countries what they regularly have for breakfast okay here in el salvador what do we regularly have for breakfast eggs eggs Mm, beans. Toasted with butter. Beans. Coffee. Coffee. What else? You miss the most important thing. Pupusas. <laughs> de tres por un dólar. I like breakfast and eggs. Beans, uh, coffee, okay. bread or tortillas. No, toast. No, no. Breakfast as bread, 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 and lunch, tortillas, tortillas, <laughs> and dinner. Uh, bread. Bread, okay. So let's listen. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you'll practice straight some cultural in the U.S., Japan, and Mexico. To go eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The U.S. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter. Orange juice. Coffee. Jam. Jelly. Japan. Fish. Rice. Soup. Pickles, green tea, Mexico, eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. Okay. Here in the U.S., we have, or in the picture, um, there are fried eggs, fried eggs. But also here in El Salvador, 
the scramble eggs are very common. Okay, scramble eggs with tomato, onion, and green pepper. Okay. What of these three breakfasts is more similar from for the, the breakfast here in El Salvador? Or with the breakfast here in El Salvador? Mexico. Uh, Mexico. The Mexican. Yes, the Mexican breakfast is the most similar. Okay, which is the most different? With Japan. the Japan. Yes, the Japanese. Okay, what is the meaning of pickles? Pickles. What is the Excuse meaning? Me? Pickles, the meaning, um, el significado de pickles. No. Pepinillo. Yes. You. I, mm, sometimes it pickles, but in my hamburger. But I can imagine it pickles in the morning. Okay. Now, tell me what do you usually have for breakfast? What do you usually have for breakfast? Okay, raise your hand if you want to participate. I like eggs. Beans, milk, or coffee, okay. and, and cheese. Cheese, okay. Thank you, Cecilia. Okay, another volunteer. Está preguntando que, que nos guste desayuno o que desayunamos. Yes, lo que usualmente. What do you usually have? Lo que usualmente desayuno. Cereal and milk. Cereal and milk. Okay. Yes, Jacqueline. Uh, no. I like um, breakfast and um, pupusa. Yes, pupusas. And a chocolate or coffee. Uh, coffee. Indispensable. Okay, very important in the morning, a coffee. Okay, black or with milk? Black. Black with no sugar. Uh, yes, sugar. Much. One, one spoon, two spoons. Three. Three, okay. So you are very sweet. Yes. Okay, thank you, Jacqueline. Who else? What do you have for breakfast? What do you usually have for breakfast? Liliana? Um, I like breakfast and bean, fried beans. <laughs> Uh, eggs, bread, um, and tea or milk. Okay, tea or milk. Okay. Yes, and uh, I don't like coffee. You don't like coffee? Okay, Jacqueline. My son, mo, o sea, le encanta... Um, breakfast. He, he loves. He loves. Uh -huh. He loves. Um, uh, breakfast uh, sandwich. Yes. Um, and coffee and milk. Okay. Coffee with milk. Uh -huh. Exacto. Y también este cereal and milk. Cereal. Okay. Yes. 
Okay. Wilfredo, what about you? Um, bueno, uh, usually have breakfast, um, fried banana, fried beans, bread, But, okay, uh, cream, and coffee. Cream, yes. Banana or plantain? Uh, plantain. Plantain, okay, yes. yes. Me too. My husband likes fried plantain and fried eggs. And I like scrambled eggs, but I have to eat fried eggs because he likes fried eggs. Okay. Now let's listen to the conversation. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now it's your turn to... Okay, questions. Sebastian, what do you have for breakfast? No. Words that you don't know. Pronunciation. So header. Yes, Christian. I am Shara on Kumiko. Okay. Sara. And Jacqueline, okay. Fumiko. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has Japanese styles. Breakfast, breakfast, uh, Sunday. Really? What do you have? Um. We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Um, sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Okay, remember in this part, you have to uh, emphasize the S sound. Okay, Sundays, because this means every sunday okay if you if you only say sunday it's only one but when you say sundays it's something that you do every sunday every sunday and remember the pronunciation of interesting the stress syllable is the first one interesting en la primera es donde vamos a hacer la 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 la, la mayor fuerza de voz Okay, interesting. Okay, and that's it. Okay, two more volunteers. Okay.
Okay, Cecilia. And Wilfredo. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. New things. Okay, thank you. Okay, Alexis, you will be the next. And Catherine, it's your mother. Okay. Let's have a beautiful, stronger all Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Friday, what did you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Free for waffle, Thai, and stirring Thai? Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Wait on every affair for well five good and lighting new cheese time. Okay, thank you. Okay, questions about this part? Uh, the word together. Together. Together is you and me. Together, together, juntos. <laughs> okay. Any other question? No. Are you sure? Teacher, la palabra will. Which one? Repeat, please. I tengo malo el inter, teacher. Um, la palabra will o will, no sé cómo se pronuncia, pero es la última. Ah, well, aquí, well. Well es bueno, well. I never eat fish for breakfast. Es como, mm, bueno, yes, bueno, well. Yes, Catherine. Yes, teacher. Y la última, acaba la última palabra, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Things. 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 Ok. Things. Acuérdense de la serie Stranger Things. Sara, nunca he comido pescado en el desayuno, pero me gustaría probar nuevas cosas. Interesante. Teacher, repeat la palabra interesting. ¿Cómo In se pronuncia? Interesting. Como que nos hace falta a todos. Que okay. in ter, aquí in ter. Y esta e no se pronuncia. In ters. Porque el, ajá, el problema es que algunos pronuncian esta e. Es in ters. Thing. Without this e. La. Ters thing. In ters thing. Yes. Y la mayor fuerza de voz va al inicio. Interesting. Interesting. 
Yes. Okay. Todo blue. <laughs> okay. Muy bien, let's move to the last topic of today, which is the frequency adverbs or the adverbs of frequency. Okay, the adverbs of frequency, they are going to express how often do you do something. Okay, remember that we are studying simple present. Y habíamos dicho que en el simple, el simple, el, el simple present lo íbamos a utilizar to talk about routines. Things that you do regularly. So, también hab eh, habíamos visto some signal words. If you remember some of the signal words, o sea, esas palabras que nos iban como alertar que estábamos en el simple present, son algunas eran frequency adverbs. Entonces, aquí digamos que está, there are more. There are more, but these are the most common. Um, depending of how frequency you do, uh, you have in something or how often you do something, it will be from 100% of the times, okay, that will be always. That means you do that thing every single day, okay, you always take a bath, for example. You always uh, get rest or sleep at night. Then you have the word usually, which means like the 90% of the times. It's not every day, but it's almost every day. Okay, that's usually. Then we have generally, which is the 80%, okay, generally, often, 70%, todavía tiene, se considera como un rango alto, often, okay, I often uh, go to the gym, or I often um, eat vegetables, then we have sometimes with the 50% of the times and um, occasionally the 30%. Okay, aquí the sometimes para abajo ya son cosas que las hacemos así bien raramente. Okay, occasionally, seldom is only the 50%, rarely the 5%, and never the zero percent. Okay, again, my recommendation is not to try to uh, translate the words into Spanish, eh, sino que mejor aprendan los porcentajes de cuando las van a usar. Entonces, así, dependiendo de qué tan seguido usted realice la actividad de la que está hablando, eh, así usted va a utilizar correctamente la palabra. Okay, because it's easiest to remember the percentage that a meaning. Y como les decía también ayer, no siempre va a tener un significado eh, exacto. Let's see the, well, questions. And we are going to, to see the. No lo quite todavía porque lo estoy copiando. Okay. I do it in three parts better. 
In three parts. Yes. Always, sometimes, never. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So well, easy. yes. But usually, the, it, it's it's common, usually. Esta se usa bastante. También rarely. I rarely. Okay. Let's see the, the position. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Okay, the grammar. Here we have hardly ever, hardly ever, which is, um, este sería, vendría siendo like, uh, Let's see. Rarely. Casi nunca o rara vez. Mm -hmm. Hardly ever. Yes. Iría por aquí. In, in between 10, 15. Okay. Eso es lo que les decía que, digamos, no, no siempre casan, sino más por los porcentajes. Que hardly ever es casi llegando a never. Espera, okay. se me ha perdido. Here. Okay, the position, the most of the frequency adverbs, we are going to place it before the verb. La vamos a usar o la vamos a colocar antes del verbo. Okay, for example, I always take a bath. I usually cook to my family. Okay, we are going to use or put the frequency adverb before the verb. But with the adverb, sometimes it, it is, it, it has a, a a, a difference because sometimes you can move in three positions in the sentence. You can use it at the beginning of the sentence. Uh, sometimes I go with, I go visit my mom. Or you can use it, uh, I sometimes visit my mom in the middle, in el medio. Or you can use it at the end. I visit my mom sometimes. Pero ese es el único que podemos colocar en esas tres posiciones. Okay, only sometimes. Los demás eh, siempre tendrían que ir before the verb, antes del verb. Okay, questions about this part? Okay, so let's do a practice. Please type one example using a frequency adverb. Okay, here on the chat, hurry up, we, we have five minutes. Or you want to do it orally? What do you prefer? Hello. Say yes, no, teacher. 
repeat, I don't understand, I'm lost, say something. I love teacher. Okay. We are going to type a sentence using a frequency adverb. An example, but your own, your own example. So give me one sentence using a frequency adverb. Okay, you can type or you can say it if you want. Okay, I never got to play soccer, I think, or football, American football. Remember in English is soccer. I often visit my grandparents, okay. I usually visit to my family, yes. Okay, hurry up. Do you ever take a coffee? But that's a question. Give me a positive statement. I always drink coffee in... Okay, I always drink coffee at breakfast, I think, or during breakfast. What about this one? I usually play games with my friends at night, but sometimes they can, and that's make me sad. Okay. More examples? Valeria, Jimena, okay, sometimes I go to the beach, okay? I rarely go to the beach. Okay, I rarely have time to read a newspaper, okay? Me too. <laughs> I almost never buy a newspaper. Okay, who is missing? Oh, it's okay, fine. Man. Play the piano. Okay, and that's true. Do you play the piano? Mm -hmm. Or is an example? Only an example. Uh, no. For real? Yes. Okay, great. Okay. Me faltaron algunos que no me dijeron. Por ejemplo. I hardly ever eat snacks at the work. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Um, example, I eat fish occasionally. Uh, but I occasionally eat. Ah, uh, okay. I okay. eat fish. Yes. Antes del verbo, antes del verbo lo vamos a poner sin, solo sometimes lo podemos mover. I have never been interested in football. Ok, solo que se me está moviendo a otro tiempo. Francesca. Ese tiempo lo vamos a ver después. Okay, that will be all for tonight. And thank you for being here. 
Remember to send the el comprobante del manual que, recibe, que, que ya recibieron el manual. Entonces recuerden enviarlo antes del Monday. O sea, Monday es the last day, pero como ustedes son súper responsables, lo van a enviar antes. Okay, I always play football. Football or soccer. Don't get confused. <laughs> Yes, I know you are very responsible. Okay, so have a nice weekend and I hopefully see you on Monday. Y ahora casi todos están con las cámaras apagadas. What happened? Okay. Okay, see you on Monday. Get rest. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Thank you, Wilfredo. Bye. 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 Good night, bye-bye. Good, bye. good night, see you two later. See bye you on Monday, bye-bye. See you on Monday. Y no yes. invita a Cristian. Aunque sea horchata, no hubiera nada. Bye-bye, have a nice weekend. Mm.